Uh, my name is Lucian Koindwa and I'm from Samupavi yeah. and I'm Hopi. When and how did you start your career? Um, I started um, learning how to do uh, this work silversmithing back in 90. 1990? Yeah, 1990 at um, Hopi Guild. Yeah. Who was your teacher? Our, our, yeah, our teacher was um, Sydney. Sydney Sikakuku, yeah. Who, who else was in the students? Um, there was me, um, Gerald, mm -hmm. Ruben, um, Merle, and um, I don't know, let me see. I believe it was Elric. Um, Ruben. Uh -huh. um, so most of the silversmiths now yeah. learned at the guild. Yeah, oh, there, there was a, there was a, quite a few of us. Yeah, we we learned. Yeah, the And you said it was twenty six. Yeah, students something here. twenty something students. Yeah. Uh -huh. How how long were you learning over there? We um, I think it took about like good three. Three months, something like that. I'm not too sure. Yeah, because we had to. Uh, when we started learning, he went and um, gave us like copper. Where we had to cut on copper, and mm -hmm. you know, after that we started working on nickel silver, mm -hmm. and slowly we started getting into silver. So you go over there like every day. Yeah, like every day. Months, yeah, like a training. whole. Yeah, for like a whole week, you'll get mm -hmm. there, and then you'll. They started off slow, like you know, telling us about our tools. You know what they are. How much, you know. And then eventually it started going into like um, making like designs and. Mm -hmm. And how did you be a, like just yourself like as a silversmith? Um, it was uh, well we were still working there and then after um, I don't know how many years then they went and mm -hmm. they were uh, having hard times over there, mm -hmm. so a lot of us started moving on our own, mm -hmm. started uh, you know just staying at home working on. Mm -hmm. Other stuff, yeah. And so, uh, after your like um, age students, there's no more guilt was existing. Yeah, there was uh, one more group that was after us, but I didn't. I'm not too sure who was teaching that one. Uh -huh. Yeah. So there was another group after us, and I think that was the last one. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then that, after that, the guilt closed down. Uh huh. Yeah. So there's nobody really teaching now. No, 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 uh -huh. nobody's teaching. Um, the only person that we know of is Gerald that's, mm -hmm. you know, teaching yeah. people yeah. and the students now. Mm -hmm. So what is jewelry making means to you? No, I, no, it means a lot, you know. Um, I've been around it for so long, mm -hmm. ever since I was, uh, you know, younger, mm -hmm. watching my uncle's work, mm -hmm. you know, Lawrence Sifkin, and them going to their house when, mm -hmm. when they're working. Was he already popular? Before? Yeah, he was already popular. Him and my um, my grandpa, um, uh -huh. Paul. Yeah, uh -huh. so, yeah, he was already popular. So I uh -huh. think that's when he when I carried him along with him. So he uh -huh. got uh, well known for that. So yeah. you just, you just yes, I've been around it for so long. I, I really like doing it. You know, I like uh, working with um, yeah, uh -huh. silver. You know. the, like just the cutting part needs lots of patience. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is. It's uh -huh. it does uh, take a lot, you know. And it, when you're when when you're cutting, seem like when you're cutting on your stuff, then it makes you think mm -hmm. <laughs> about everything, you know, like you know what, what's going on, you know, and just mm -hmm. uh, the things that you think about goes into your work. Uh -huh. and, yeah. So, what do you think, like most important thing to keep this like, traditional work? Um. Well, I think it would be good because yes, yeah, like uh, it's something about like with the language, you know, people, you know, there you can tell, you know, that our language is slowly going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can tell, and then all this uh, traditional mm -hmm. stuff eventually is gonna go, and then it's just been around forever, you know, the um, mm -hmm. silver, silver, and you know, silversmithing. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be good, you know, if it were to stay around forever, you know. Mm -hmm. Just the people that want to learn, it's kind of hard to, you know, find somebody that will, mm -hmm. is willing to learn. Because mm -hmm. it does take a lot of time, yes. patience, yeah. yeah. 
does take a lot and s same thing with our language like I said it's um, kind of like slowly going you can tell mm -hmm. yeah the older ones the younger ones are having a hard time you know they can understand it mm -hmm. but they can't speak it is the thing is it hard to live in Hopi reservation um, I, it's not hard uh, to me. I don't think it's hard because uh, you know, um, if, if you make it hard, yes, it's hard for you. But if you don't, then you know, you, you know, it's not that it's not that bad. You know, mm -hmm. it's just um, it's hard to find a job out here. I I hear that a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then I don't think it's. Why not there's hard. not many um, like new silversmiths is not not coming out? Um, I don't even really know. I think well. Um, it's just that, like the patience and the price of silver mm -hmm. is, you know, it's still kind of high for the people that want to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, I don't really know. It's just, I've been um, wanting to teach my um, my in-law, but it's mm -hmm. kind of like he wants to find find out what he wants to do yet. He's still mm -hmm. like in that young age, so I'm still mm -hmm. trying to decide if I should do this or that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to find his way yet. There's lots of meaning to it, into jewelry. Yeah, there is. There's a lot of um, stuff that you, you know, that mm -hmm. um, that uh, have a lot of, yeah, like it's a meaning mm -hmm. in our jewelry. And because it started to like to put the prayer into the yeah. jewelry. That's how it started. Yeah, like you can tell when I do my stuff, there's a lot of prayer feathers in there. Mm -hmm. A lot of clan symbols and a lot of uh, water waves and clouds. Mm -hmm. Which we, you know, pray to a lot. You know, we do a lot of praying to, you know, uh, that the clouds and mm -hmm. things, and we use uh, prayer feathers mm -hmm. a lot too. So it's it's this hard place, like there's no rain. Yeah. So yeah, so it's um, uh, it's hard to like irrigate. I mean, like you know, um, to bring water to your field, you know, mm -hmm. to you know irrigate that. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of uh, hopis that don't do that. Yeah, unless you have like a small garden, which is probably better, but mm -hmm. like fields way out there, you know, it's hard. We just depend on the rain, that's it. Mm -hmm. And that's how we can get our um, crops and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So most of the prayers for yeah. your life is for the water. Yeah, it's, everything is water, you know. Yeah, that's all, that's all we pray for a lot. Mm -hmm. And yeah. your clan is the... Um, the sun forehead, sun yeah, the sun forehead. So you use the, that yeah. jewelry? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, I've been, uh, we have a, um, a shrine over at my um, my mom's place mm -hmm. and that belongs to the, um, a certain clan. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're originally from Sapaulavi, mm -hmm. the other um, village right next to Masangnavi. Mm -hmm. We were from there, mm -hmm. but then um, Shamopavi wanted to take um, that shrine over to Shamopavi. I mean, yeah, yeah, to Shamopavi. So, Back then, they told them if you're gonna take that shrine over there, you're gonna have to take our people with you, our mm -hmm. clan with you, to go over there. So they did that, but they had to build a house uh -huh. so where that place that that uh, shrine can stay. Mm -hmm. So he went over there, and then uh, that's how we became Shamopavis. Uh -huh. Yeah, and our clan watches that is the sun forehead. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we, what we do is, um, it's a blind person. They say, it's a blind person, but he's an artist. Yeah, and that's what it's called, Simaikole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like this, the things behind this jewelry, just 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 the jewelry, but yeah. it's behind it. It's really secret, and yeah. there's lots of stories. So yeah. I I would like to see to keep continuing. Lots of people, what they are doing for no. the jewelry, yeah. so art, any kind of arts, yeah. like traditional arts. Yeah. So, th yeah, thank you for sharing your story. Yeah, no problem. <laughs>